Welcome back, family. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. My channel is growing. Despite not small beginnings. You understand? Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Comment, family. I'm trying to get into the YouTube algorithm. YouTube tripping sometimes, but I'm going to keep peddling it anyway. Support my channel by going to the Cash App, guys, and donating there. It's dollar sign drummer 1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks located under the video, guys. Donating there as well. And like how I tell each and every one of y'all, I do appreciate you. Ten folds over, hands down. I'm proud that you're rocking with me. Well, 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 guys, I'm back one more time. You know who I am. I'm Drummer 1980 Helen from Columbia, South Carolina. If you're looking for me. I hope you're having a good day today. And if that's not the case, ask yourself why. Because remember, happiness is an inside job. And it will always be an internal affair. But guys, we're back today again with another reaction from my man, King Flex. Ryan Garcia. What did we tell y'all about that brown and black coalition? Can't tell some of y'all's nothing. So... Some of y'all just going to wither on the vine and croak simply because you're hard here. How many times must you see this over and over? But let's get to the video. Yeah, because I'm on one. So, yeah, man, Ryan Garcia, he's been doing and saying little slick stuff. Like my man said, making little racist comments and him and his family making little racist comments towards other black boxes. And um, on the audio I heard, he was using the N words and F effing words and talking about George Floyd mm -hmm. just some real slick stuff about George Floyd just real crazy talk and he was doubling down on some tweets um, effing words I'm not going to say it here um, talking about black on black crime just really going off now some people from one of the boxing federations they then they kind of suspend him they distanced themselves from him. Um, Ryan then gave a real half-ass apology. Um, let me read what the apology is. Um, let me scroll down. The apology was really a, a backhanded diss. It wasn't a real apology. Hold on. Here it is. It says, I take responsibility for my words. I misunderstood. I got a lot of trauma. And it's been a tough couple of months, as everyone can tell, but I am sorry. I struggle with substance abuse and it's hard for me with everything going on. I actually love black people, no cap, which is why I'm, I'm act, I actually said I offended all my black family and friends. This sucks, but all I can do is be better and stop using stupid words and letting some people in my circle hype me up. Sorry, everyone that I offended. I still stand on stopping black on black crime. Okay, that's not a that's not an apology. You're going to end your apology doubling down on your anti because that black on black crime, that's anti black rhetoric. You're not stopping anti black. I mean, you're not stopping black on black crime. You couldn't even stop crime Latino on Latino crime in your own homeland talking about some damn black on black crime what about latino and latino crime in your homeland dude let me chime in because i'm itching i'm itching for this how many people you seen come out in the latino community i'm talking about in mass condemning what he said if that would have been floyd mayweather guess what every celebrity would have been on there apologizing they would have had him on a 24 7 news screen notice something else guys they always want to blame it on drugs and alcohol and that doesn't make you a racist there was cases where there was people blaming it on blood pressure medicine some people blame it on affluenza I mean they just blame racism on everything this guy been like this from the beginning if you paid attention to him see but many black people just want to be friends want to be kissing up I'm not that type to be kissing up on nobody I don't care what it is I'm not kissing up on 
nobody, let alone a Ryan Garcia, talking about he want to stop black on black crime. All that crime in Mexico. <laughs> it's almost a joke at this point, guys. Do y'all see what's transpiring? That's why when something happened at the border, I'm sitting over here whistling dicks. <whistles> oh, oh, the people down there in cages. Yeah, uh, that's terrible. Oh, they got the children locked up in. Oh, okay, huh? Yeah, they shouldn't do them like that. Trump said, build that wall. I don't say nothing because of people like this. Amongst others, they always talking greasy. So, okay, from now on, I don't have nothing to say. I don't have anything to say because they always been funny style like this. I work with people and they funny style. They funny style. Now, I'm telling you what I know. You think that you got some type of camaraderie? No, you ain't got no kind of nothing in common with them people. Zero. And the first chance they get, they'll mess on you. I'm telling you what I know. Look at Ron DeSantis in Florida. Huh? God told me I didn't know. Look at it. Look at that woman running for office uh, in some Midwest state up there somewhere. I think it's Missouri. Uh, Juneteenth is ghetto and they don't deserve no reparations. And if they don't like it, get the F out. That's her people. That's those people. Like a Ryan Garcia, a Ron DeSantis. Got drug cartels all over the place. Talking about some black on black crime. The temerity. That's a deflection from the, the failure that's going on in your own homeland. The minute these tethers come over here and start talking about black on black crime, no, you don't ignore all of the crime and degradation and filth going on in your homelands. They always come over here deflecting in some black on black crime. We don't have crime like y'all. We don't have whole big violent drug cartels that's kidnapping whole towns of people. We don't have that. You see? The problem is, is that this black and brown myth that black people have been promoting and upholding for the longest, we're seeing the truth about it. The anti-black racism coming from a lot of the anti-black Latino community, it is a problem. That's why nobody's really shocked by his anti-black racism, a lot of the white Latinos, they have a lot of anti-black racism that they've always had. And once they get into a space with other people where they can be comfortable, they let all this stuff hang out. That's right. They, he said a whole bunch of stuff that they say behind closed doors. This yeah. year, and it marks the and emancipation the of black people, people who suffered under chattel slavery in the United States. Stuff where some people are talking about one lady Mental illness does not make you racist. They're trying to use the mental illness angle with this guy. Not mentally ill. Then Oscar De La Hoya jumped in the mix, trying to explain a little bit. Oscar De La Hoya was like, there's no room for hate or intolerance at my company, period. I condemn Ryan's words in the strongest terms possible. I see that he has apologized, and that is a start, but it's only a start to earn back the trust and respect of those of us who have continued to support him. We hope Ryan will use the time he has away from the sport to work through the issues he has publicly discussed. We stand ready to help in whatever we can. Oscar, your little old moist self can go to hell too. This is splaining. First of all, that wasn't a real apology. He didn't apologize. And... He wasn't talking about you. He was denigrating our community. So that apology is supposed to be accepted or rejected by us. And I'm rejecting it. That's not no real apology. We're rejecting that. This anti-black racism coming from these people, it is a problem. And it is being called out. And we should have been calling it out in a black and brown coalition. Listen at me, guys. He talking about. 
he is dedicated to stopping black on black crime. Mexico and South America and all of those places, Central America, has the most violent cities and all that on earth. Go Google it, guys. And he had the audacity to come up here acting like he's some type of moral police or he's some type of authority on crime. (sighs) Y'all go understand this one day because some of y'all are slow on the uptake. They people have been saying this for years on end. And some people still can't fathom the idea that people just don't like you. They always will try to look down. You notice I use the word, the operative word, try to look down on you. But everybody know what you are here. They know what you are. But like I always say, they will join together, lock arms to make sure you on the bottom. They form a confederacy, guys. For those that know, a confederacy. Uh huh. And this guy homeland looks like a landfill, literally. Matter of fact, a landfill is more organized. Them people live in slums. These people have open sex rings, open pedophile rings, open bestiality rings. Oh, y'all don't know about that, do you? open bestiality ring you can go to certain bars down there where women having sex with animals down there because i done heard about it huh but yeah he want to come here and talk about black on black crime do we have an issue yes we have an issue but it's not worse than your issues so why should our issues be highlighted when yours is not that's our question Because you're trying to paint the picture like you some type of upstanding, uprighteous being or something. No, absolutely not. You are degenerate too. Simply trying to project onto you like you just doing all the crime. Black people don't commit crime like that. Do black people commit crime? Yes. Yes, they do. But they ain't worse than nobody else. And we can prove that by the numbers. Guys, don't let nobody tell you that black people commit more crime than anybody else because that's a flat out bald faced lie I said it that's a bald faced lie these kangaroo courts and these draconian laws and they still commit more crime than you do everything is in their favor everybody have more favor than you and they commit more crime than you commit some of them just get slapped on the wrist and they just don't get charged but Ryan Garcia Y'all, you can't be shocked, right? You can't be. If you shock, shame on you, man. Because we been new about this. They ain't no such thing as no brown and black coalition. No such thing. No such thing. There is no such animal as a brown and black coalition. Get that through your head. I know some of y'all heart is hurting and your eyes about to fail you. Oh, God, I can't believe that he said that. Get over it. The minute people get a leg up, or they think they got a leg up, they go right into the anti-black damn racism. Big. These dudes sound like Anglo white supremacists. Facts. And this is why family, us delineating and us not letting people co-opt our culture is very important. We have to gatekeep our culture. This is one of the reasons why. This is why even with the hip hop conversation, all of these um, white Latino hip hop folks, we're seeing their true colors. You understand? They're coming out telling the truth about how they really feel. We, We know this in Los Angeles. We saw how those city council members were talking about us behind closed doors. Yep. Plotting and planning on denying us and depriving us of resources. We, we know what it is. And we got to stop being fooled by people coming around to promote that false black and brown coalition as long as we're the ones holding an empty bag so everybody can eat out of it. There you have it, guys. There is no brown and black coalition. You don't have no friends. You don't have no friends. 
just a few people that may be on your side, but the rest of them are vehemently against you. It's not because I said it, it's because of their action. Action speaking volume. And I'm listening. Did you catch that? Action speaks in volume, and I'm listening. I'm sitting back watching. I sit back in the cut and watch everything. I might not say nothing, but I'm watching. I'm being attentive. I'm very attentive to details because they say the devil is in the details, but the truth is also in the details. I picked up on this a long time ago because my brother owns a lucrative business, right? Make good money. And he used to hire Mexican workers and stuff. And you can tell they didn't want to work for no black man. And the first chance they got to leave him hanging, they did that. They did that. First chance they got. And he was paying them real good, too. Paying them real good. First chance they got, they did. Because it wasn't for better opportunities Because where they went They was paying them less But the only thing was They was white And whenever you look on their license Guess what? It classified as White These people are not your friends I don't care how much oh, brother, all that stuff. That's all performative you heard me? That's all performative. Don't buy into the hype. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. Because ask them what happened whenever they go to prison. Who do they align themselves with? Go look that up. They align themselves with the brotherhood, the Aryan nation and all. Y'all don't know this. If you don't believe me, go look it up. Go do some research for yourself. When they get to prison and all of that, they align themselves with the Aryan nation. And if I'm lying, somebody stop my mouth. I can be stopped, but stop it with the truth. These people don't care nothing about you. Get over it. You don't share nothing with these people. You don't have anything in common with these people. These people come over here and the minute they feel like they safe, that's when the true colors come out and that's fine because this is good I'm glad that he said it now nah, y'all jigaboos and samples feelings hurt and I'm glad you ain't got no friends but guys tell me exactly what y'all think about this video hit the subscribe button guys come on back to see me hit the like button hit the share button donate a few dollars to me because my baby need a new pair of shoes anyway all right <laughs> guys but until next time peace and remember there is more